go down to Rome's. So all the haters and the losers are, are looking at the Vikings right now. Oh, they lost Kirko. Oh, they lost Anil. Oh, this, that, and the other thing. It's like, oh, they got no cap space. They can't sign anyone. They can't have a future. They can't resign Justin Jefferson. Oh, Lode, the, the cap uh, is absolutely not a myth because the Vikings are going to get crushed by it. But they forget. Yes, the Vikings are in actually, actually in very good financial uh, situation because it's almost like Quasi and capologist Rob Thuglife Brzezinski. Uh, it's almost like they planned this out. Almost. So get rid of Anthony Barr uh, two off seasons ago. Then last year, Kendricks, Thielen, P Square, not bringing back Diesel Dalvin Tomlinson. Uh, and then this off season, letting Kirko go, letting Daniil go, letting Marcus Davenport go. Probably doing something with Harrison Smith. We'll see. It's almost like this was planned. It's all part of the plan. That's right. Because the Vikings are going to have a big chunk of cash in 2025. So Jason over the cap. So he pointed out that the Vikings are now the league leader in dead money at 57.3. Now, initially, people saw that as bad. Oh, de dead cap. That's bad. But again, it's almost like uh, Kwesi and Brzezinski uh, budgeted this and planned this out because the Vikings... So the bulk of that dead money comes from Kirk Cousins, 28.5, Daniil Hunter, 14.9, uh, and Marcus Davenport, 6.8, almost nice, where uh, the, all the void year dead cap pits come home to roost after they left the team and their uh, con contracts are going to void uh, at, this afternoon uh, when, at the start of the new league year. But that was planned for. That, that was already baked into the cake, and the Vikings still, still had around $36 million in cap space, uh, even factoring in the dead cap that they were going to take on if and when they did leave. Uh, and that's an important part because, watch, uh, Kevin Seifert, ESPN, who's not Carl Gerbschmidt, this is mostly a result of cap acceleration for Kirk Cousins, Daniel Hunter, Marcus Damport. I just said that. It puts Minnesota on track to have 135-ish million in 2025 cap space per Jason OTC. Uh, there will be lots of space around the league, but the Vikings on track to be in top five. So, uh, again, uh, a big part of it over the last couple of seasons is Quasi cycling out and phasing out some of the Spielman veterans, while whilst getting uh, the last just a little little bit out of them. Uh, yes, letting them go a year too early versus a year too late. But, I mean. Spielman and Zimmer and the Vikings, they were all in. They, they were an older team uh, constructed around veterans on s some deals that had a, a lot of bad cap hits uh, in subsequent seasons. So Quasey has done a very good job uh, of fielding a, a tough and competitive team whilst, whilst uh, clearing up the books. So, yes, there will be uh, plenty of cash for Justin Friggin Jefferson. That is not going to be an issue. Again, the total money... The average per season was never an issue. Likely, it's the, the structure of the guarantee because, hey, beyond Kirk Cousins, other players get to worry about the structure of their contracts too. Also, who's going to be the quarterback? Mm. And also, Darisaw is coming up. Uh, uh, well, he's eligible right now for an extension, but maybe the Vikings want to see if uh, he can stay healthy and be consistent. But uh, he does have the physical tools and potential to be one of the best left tackles in the game. Also, just looking through our memes. I, I don't know what this one is about. I think it was because at training camp, Kirk did a drive-by and he mentioned to Darius. I was like, hey, you want to go to Chili's? Good times. Good times, man. But uh, looking at the Vikings uh, cap situation. So, uh, all right, so the 2024 books, the Vikings... Yes, the Vikings have been very active in free agency, but those contracts aren't officials, and also the full, full details haven't been disclosed. So with, with Grenard, Van Ginkle, as well as uh, uh, Cashman outside, how about that, uh, plus Aaron Jones, uh, that, that will factor in, and we'll see how uh, the, the cap is divvied up. But as of right now, the Vikings are in very good cap situation, uh, have just uh, shy of $32 million in cap space right now, and that's with J.J., Full freight on his fifth-year option. His cap number will probably go down uh, if and when they do agree on an extension. Harrison Smith uh, has a $19.2 million cap it. I, I don't think that will stand. Uh, I think that they're going to clear that up because uh, they can get $11.3 million in cap space if, if they cut him uh, or if uh, he retires. And I, I think that they'll do something with O'Neal, uh, likely a traditional restructure. Uh, but then you look at the books in 2025. Uh, again, over the cap has them projected at uh, just south of, of $138 million. And you look who's on the books. Yes, no Justin Jefferson on the books, but the Vikings have the ability to franchise tag him in 2025, uh, maybe even 2026 as well, or... Er, they have all the space in the world to work out a long-term extension. And in fact, 
So if and when the Vikings draft their future franchise quarterback, again, the greatest competitive advantage in the NFL right now is having your starter on his rookie deal. The Vikings can actually front load uh, JJ's deal, uh, uh, Wilst. It's the word of the day, Wilst. Uh, the, the starter is on a, a very cheap and reasonable contract. So, so then, uh, once that quarterback uh, is looking to get paid, it, it's not that big of an issue with the Justin Jefferson contract in terms of, uh, uh, of its effect on the cap. Also, you, you look um, at the 2025 number, so just shy of 138, but also you have Harrison Smith on the books for 22. That ain't happening. Uh, O'Neal at 26, that's also likely not going to be happening. Uh, Hawkinson will probably be redone at some point. He's on on there at 15-1. And that's really it. I mean, the books are really clear. Uh, Well, also, technically, they don't have Derisaw on there. Ooh, Adidas looking good. Uh, in, in our targeted ads. Uh, Darisaw is also not in the books, but uh, this will be his fifth-year option year, so you have to factor that in as well. But either, either way, the Vikings are in fantastic cap shape, and you know it could be a blessing in disguise that they didn't bring back Kirk Cousins for one last ride because it, it would have gunked up uh, the, uh, the the cap for the next couple of years uh, as well as they vi- likely would have brought him back with a heavy proration, uh, kicking the can down the road. But you know, everyone who was pissing at him was like, hey, stop kicking the can down the road. They are. And, and guess what? They're still putting together uh, a very good team. They're still being active free agency. They still have all the space in the world to extend JJ, to extend Derisaw, and also uh, they're in great position to go up and get their quarterback in the future as well. So things are good. And, and again, people criticize Quasey, sometimes rightfully so, sometimes, sometimes not. But with the cap and clearing up of some of these contracts, you have to give them a lot of credit. Absolutely, uh, you do. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings uh, are slated to have around $135 million uh, in cap space in 2025. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the bed mode. But next time, Skull Production Value.